Hey guys, Chef with you back with the brand new video for you guys. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install custom fonts on Pixel Lab. So yeah, let's get started. So before I start the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and then turn on the post notification so you never miss a video when we upload. So yeah, if you don't know about Pixel Lab, then it will be in the description box down below. Pixel Lab is a great app to add text and you know edit thumbnails basic thumbnails so yeah as you can see I have a lot of um, fonts added as you can see in my fonts section I have a lot of fonts added so yeah now I'm gonna show you how you can add custom th fonts like mine so yeah let's get started so before I start as you can see you can do a lot of stuff here as you can see you can resize it you can have a lot of backgrounds and you can play out you can play around and you can do a lot of things so yeah let's get started so before i show you how to install them you need to know how you can get fonts from so i have this site called www.thefont.com and from here you can download a lot of fonts you can get in every every font here you can search it and find it and as you can see there are a lot of categories and it allows you a lot of options so you can as you can see there is a lot of options like a b c d e f and so many options right here and you can search right there to find your um font that are you going to search for so yeah let me now search up a font and show you guys so now i'm going to search up uh a font and and let me search the font for example and show you guys how to install custom fonts so as you can see I found my font right here so as you can see I found it and then what you guys gonna do is download your desired font so let me download it as you can see first it will download as a zip file so after this you need another app called ES file explorer I will link it in the description box down below so yeah let me show you guys the app here is the app you can get get it for almost actually free and let me show you guys the app in the play store that it is completely free and you don't need to so let me now search up es file explorer so as you can see let me write just es and then it will come up right now as you can see it is completely free you don't require anything so yeah let me just show you the rating and the stuff and then open the app so at first it will look something like this as you guys can see it will not show up every time but it is just for the starting as you can see there are a lot of things what you can do and let me just go on the right side and show you so now we are going to go to the uh, download section and find the zip file that we just downloaded and after going to download section you want to make sure to find the zip file so as you can see i found my zip file i as you can see so let me just open it right now at um and then what you're going to do is click on this one which has otf or something like the ttf and as you can see toxio and from here what I'm going to do in is extract it as you can see extract and then it will come up as a new folder and if I go to the new folder as you can see and then what I'm going to do is rename it and after you rename it what I'm going to do is keep on TTF in the back and you want to make sure it has TTF and then after that what I'm going to do is click on cut I want to click on cut right there and then when I go go guys back after you go back you want to go to fonts as you can see there is fonts as you can see I have a lot of fonts right here and then what you're going to do is click on paste and after the paste you are done almost here and then what you're going to do is go back to um, pixel app so let me now go back right now and then open up pixel app and show you guys that the font has been successfully installed so let me click on font and then search for my new font go to my fonts and as you can see 
my new font is now available and so yeah guys that's how you install custom fonts on pixel app i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe for new videos and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out oh.